the Lord. Amen. In rebellion, your whole head is injured, your whole heart is afflicted. From the sole of your foot to the top of your head there is no soundness. Your country is desolate, your cities burned with fire, your fields have been stripped right before you, laid waste as when overthrown by strangers. Hear the word of God, you rulers. Listen to the law of God, you people. The multitude of your sacrifices, what are they to me? Says the Lord. I've had more. Come now. Let's reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. <laughs> Mozambicans. The late president of the ANC, comrade president O. R. Tambo, has worked very closely with the African states to support our struggle as he was in the pursuit in, in pursuit of the realization of Freedom Charter and how as South Africans we should relate with our African brothers. Today, the Freedom Charter informs our foreign policy in relation to that understanding. I want to stand here today to pledge and commit the people of Ramaphosa that we will work hard to eradicate hatred amongst ourselves, eradicate xenophobic tendencies amongst ourselves, and to heal the rift created by this unfortunate occurrence that has become part of our history locally and internationally. Amandla! Amandla! Uti, our fundisi, one of my hands, a little cleansing ceremony, Ukolela, and a lova funuguenza, Bazogenza Ganjani, and Lela Yesonto, and then Nabo Mkulun, Nabom Kulula, Bazos Kazela Guti, Nens. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus. Let me just say that uh, with respect, Mother of Ceremonies, um, it will all be a religious uh, experience. Um, the traditional way and any other way that we use is going to be religious. We're going to relate to God. That what happened here is a very serious thing for a nation. You must understand the people who did this work might never ever come to court. We need to understand that what we did here was spit in God's face. And so we come in great humility and we say to God, have mercy on us. We have made a big, big mistake. We have blasphemed against you in this place. We have taken part of your creation and we have treated it like rubbish. And we are sorry. We are sorry. We are in black today because we mourn. We also recognize that what we've done here is not just to Ernesto, we've done it to his family, his whole family and his whole nation. And so we come to say sorry, firstly then to his family as well. To say mother and father and brothers and sisters and mothers and fathers further, what we have done we recognize that we have done the wrong thing here. Please have mercy on us. We can't bring your child back, but we can, through our humility, trust that God will give you the power to forgive us. And we say to the nation of Mozambique, we are sorry. You opened your arms to us when we were being persecuted here in South Africa. You fed our children. You educated our leaders. 
and we burnt your son and we are sorry and we are sorry to Africa that these things have happened in this place when we suffered so under apartheid because this is another kind of apartheid the curse of xenophobia is another kind of apartheid and so we pray to God to take this poison out of our being and enable us to open our arms to those parts of Africa that are suffering. That's what we want. We want Mozambicans to know that this is a place of love and respect and healing. If they have run because they are poor, if they have run because they are in danger, yeah, they will find mothers and brothers and sisters who in Ubuntu will surround them and give them a place of peace. Lastly, I want to say this. I want to plead to South Africa, please let us do something about this poverty. Let us turn this place into a garden so that everybody over here understands that the discrimination against the poor is going to destroy this country. Let us bring our resources and take down the shacks and build houses for everyone. Let us take our resources and plow them into the people of this land so that there isn't this distance between the rich and the poor but that every human being can believe that they are made in God's image this must become a place where there is grass and flowers a place where children can play safely a place where parents can come and find safety and dignity. Let us pray that God gives us the will and the power to destroy poverty in our land. Beginning now. Roli Flaifla Mandela's dream was that by 2015 poverty would be history in South Africa. Let us struggle for that vision. We're now going to give to the traditional healers to do their work and after they finish their work we will pray and then we will also do our work which will involve the water and oil for those of you who want to be anointed with oil. Amen. <laughs> Sachi tena guko na isi 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 mose aparte ya jipaga tuko msha ba makosi. Stella guti manje gupele go onge makesha matala. S11 is telling us about the people who's going to arrive and uh, uh, live with us. Gia levu wabatuwa mwilimu. Hirishia guma guma kubeja buya guberi guma chanchari beso. Guma siti sa zewa abatila uko hono bila sa yao puno kwa wizibile nini. Uzuwa wapara sila wangu watuwa wapara kwa chacha reja. Gente sudo matabeni, muda kwa mando poli poli jabora, haru sara tayari na tayari na rashi magaleta. Muka imashila kati sasa na mungu. Thanks Lord for everything you done for us. Thank you for sending all the people here to listen everything. We said thank you God. Thank you for the minister and the bishop that are here to explain us everything we didn't know. Maybe something we done something wrong, but we didn't know. We said forgive us Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ernesto. May your forgiveness bring us peace. We see Christ coming up to Ernesto, lying in this place, and taking him by the hand and saying, Come, Ernesto. Come home. And we now see Ernesto cleansed, healed, forgiven, and free. And we hear God saying to us, My people, even though your sins are as scarlet, 
you will be as white as snow. O oh God, cleanse us now. Cleanse the people of our land. Cleanse Africa. God bless Africa. God our children, guide our leaders, and give us peace. Amen.